everyone, Pookie here. Welcome to Bedtime Stories. Every week we'll read you a different book by an amazing author. Let's get started. Oh, The Penguin with the Rainbow Hair. Written by Sarah Cullen and Carmen Ellis. Illustrated by Zuzana Vavodova. Two penguins watched on as their egg gave a shake. It wiggled and wobbled and started to break. Then out came a baby, so cute and so small. T'was love at first sight for this little fur ball. Soon all of the penguins came over to stare, for this little penguin had colorful hair. Just what shall we call him? What name do you like? With a mohawk like this one, his name should be Spike. They both loved his mohawk, it made them feel proud. For Spike, though, preferred to blend in with the crowd. When all eyes were on him, his tongue tied in fear, he started to wish that it would disappear. Spike went on a mission to find a nice shell. I think with the shell, I could hide my hair well. He jumped in the sea for a quick look around and picked up a beautiful shell from the ground. He loved his new hat, which he matched with a bow, but the shell was so heavy, he sank in the snow. Feeling discouraged, he wailed with a pout. I want to blend in, but I keep standing out. With a sigh and a groan, he was trying to think. Perhaps I could dye my hair bright with squid ink. The squid ink might help me to turn my hair black, and then I would look like I'm part of the pack. He jumped in the sea in pursuit of a squid, so desperate to find one, he finally did. In the blink of an eye, the new job was complete. He liked his new style, and he thought it looked neat. Oh, what a surprise, it was just as he feared. When he came to the surface, it all disappeared. He felt so alone, and he started to shout, I want to blend in, but I keep standing out. For Spike was so sad, he cried out in despair. He thought to himself, I will cut off my hair. Oh, what a relief that his dream would be real, as all he would need was a talented seal. A seal's teeth are pointy and sharper than shears. His head would be bald just as those of his peers. He knew of a seal that had sharp pointy fangs and proceeded to ask him to cut off his fangs. So what shall it be, a nice bob or a perm? No, cut it all off, he said, sounding firm. That night he slept well in his cute penguin shack, but the very next morning his hair had grown back. Sad and defeated, he went to his friends, so sick and so tired of hitting dead ends. What in the world can I do with these presses? Does anyone know? Have you got any guesses? Don't you see that you have it all wrong? This is the way that we've felt all along. We love you so much and don't want you to change. Your hair is amazing. To us, it's not strange. He looked in the mirror and all became clear. His beautiful tresses were nothing to fear. Like finally saw his own self through their eyes, he no longer wanted to be in disguise. Strutting his stuff with a heart full of pride, he realized now that he had nothing to hide. Like embraced life and he wanted to share. I'm proud I'm the penguin with the colorful hair. The end. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here next week for another bedtime story.